Pro Group Management. Workers Comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Happy Wednesday and thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. I'm Cynthia Puga. We begin with Top Story sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. A 21-year-old man died last month after being ejected from a car. Juan Jose Uribe was driving on March 18th when a highway patrol trooper attempted to pull Uribe over on US Highway 95. Uribe sped away and exited onto Lake Mead Boulevard eastbound off ramp when he struck a concrete barrier and overturned, causing him and a passenger to be ejected. This investigation is still ongoing. And a couple in their 70s were arrested after police pulled them over and found 51 guinea pigs in their car, in which 11 of them were dead. According to a press release, police had received a tip about an animal abuse and hoarding situation involving a car driving in Boulder City. On Friday, police officers and Boulder City animal control officers stopped and searched the car, finding the animals inside plastic totes and luggage. Both are now facing multiple animal cruelty charges. In other news, Oakland officials and the Athletics remain far apart on striking a lease extension for the Major League Baseball team at the Coliseum. The Oakland A's brass and representatives met on Tuesday looking to further talks on a lease extension that started earlier this year. The A's lease at the aging ballpark ends at the end of the year and despite a deal needing to be completed soon in order for the MLB to complete its 2025 season schedule, the team said there is still work to be done. And a married couple was arrested last month after the husband allegedly fired multiple shots at his wife's car with her two kids inside. According to police, the wife then turned the car around and drove over him, breaking both of his legs and a hand. D'Angelo Dixon and Lashante Turner got into an argument over buying an LED light while shopping at the fantastic indoor swap meet on South Decatur Boulevard. For more details on this story, you can visit LVRJ.com. In weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. A nice and cool start to the day with temperatures in the 50s expected to climb up into the 80s this afternoon. We do have a wind advisory starting tomorrow, Thursday at 1 p.m. and lasting until 5 a.m. on Friday. Let's take a look at your seven day forecast. Summer continues teasing us with mostly sunny skies the rest of the week and temperatures dropping into the 50s on Friday, but climbing back up into the 80s next week. This business update sponsored by the NAB Show, where content comes to life. Get your tickets at nabshow.com. RJ's real estate reporter Patrick Blennerhassett gives us an update on the construction boom in southwest Las Vegas Valley. Enterprise and its encompassing area are going through a massive building boom, and it's being led by retail primarily, so we're seeing everything from mixed-use developments like Uncommons to casinos like Durango, um, there's office space coming in, but also more traditional restaurants. And then as well, there's also a lot of multifamily projects. And a visitor from Hawaii enjoyed his Easter weekend in downtown Las Vegas by playing at $10 per spin. That guest won over $1.1 million progressive jackpot on Saturday on an IGT Wheel of Fortune machine at the California. It was also a big day for two other players on Saturday at Caesars Palace as one lucky guest hit a slot jackpot worth $150,000 and another one a slot jackpot worth $125,000. And entertainment sponsored by Arizona Charlie's as live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. Review Journal's John Katsalamidis gives us details on the final Laugh Factory performance before its final closure at the Tropicana. A huge turnout of dozens of entertainers, dignitaries, and hospitality professionals turned out for Murray Sawchuk's finale at Laugh Factory at Tropicana last week. Sawchuk is definitely not finished. He's in Australia, then he's going to the UK, and he expects to relaunch his show in June at wherever Laugh Factory winds up. Now for your sports update, brought to you by Station Casino's STN Sports. Download the app today. 
Vegas Golden Knights taking on the Vancouver Canucks last night, and the Vegas Golden Knights came to play. A four-goal first period paved the way to a 6-3 win over Vancouver, a huge two points in the playoff race. In the win, John the Marcheseau scored his 41st goal of the season, leaving him just two goals away from tying the franchise record for goals in a year set by William Carlson in 2018. Next up for the VGK, the Arizona Coyotes Friday on the road. In Health, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. A public hospital CEO tops the payroll coming in at nearly a million dollar paycheck. According to public records, UMC CEO Mason Van Howling made nearly $900,000 in pay and almost one million in total compensation in 2022. Van Howling's pay was boosted by a six-figure management bonus. And according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the average wage for hospital CEOs in the U.S. in May of 2022 was around $300 $146,000. Sports betting brought to you by the Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. Bet MGM isn't showing much faith in first year Raiders coach Antonio Pierce. The sports book lists the Raiders as minus 400 favorites to miss the NFL playoffs, while a bet on the team to make the postseason pays plus 310. In addition, the Raiders are 9 to 1 to win the AFC West, the second longest odds of the four teams. Kansas City is minus 225 to win the division, the Chargers are plus 350, and the Denver Broncos are 14 and 1. Now for Lifestyle, sponsored by Atomic Golf, now open next to the Strat. A group of students got a nice surprise after completing a mentorship program with Las Vegas Metro Police. RJ's Arlette Youssef has the story. 30 students had the opportunity of a lifetime after completing a mentoring challenge with Las Vegas Metro's Law Enforcement Empowerment Athletic Program. Students from Matter Academy Mountain Vista High School interviewed each other and then presented a formal introduction about their new friend using their newly learned public speaking skills. One student says she appreciates the support. They give us confidence. They're um, always letting, like, if we feel bad, they're always there for us. Metro Police rewarded the students with a trip to Treasure Island and Circus Circus, got a tour of the Adventure Dome's new SpongeBob Crazy Carnival ride, and had lunch at Treasure Island. For Las Vegas Review Journal, I'm Arlette Youssef. Thanks for watching 7 at 7. For continuous updates, subscribe to the Review Journal's YouTube channel, or you can follow us on our social media platforms. We'll see you tonight for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.